this is a time of year when you've got to start making some decisions. You give everybody opportunities, everybody that has ability. And then at some point in time, you have to decide who are your real followers, who are your real disciples. Basketball has been his life. He's always played basketball. That's the MVP right there on the left. That's the championship trophy. ISA tournament in Queens. We used to live on uh, Atkins Avenue in East New York. And then we moved to the project, me and Andre. Well, I took sick one night, and I couldn't go to sleep, so I told Andre, I said, Andre, I can't go to sleep. So he said, what's the matter? I said, I don't know what's the matter. My diabetes was acting on. I wound up in the hospital and got my leg amputated. She mostly takes care of me. East Carolina offered me a scholarship, but leaving here would have left a part of me, so I don't think I could have did that. I wouldn't even play good, and knowing that she's back home, maybe struggling or missing me, or especially if you just saw how it was, like that night when I had to call the hospital, that was just a no-brainer. St. John's ain't, ain't gonna recruit me, but I always wanted to go there, so it ain't matter if I had to walk on or sneak in or get a scholarship, so I, mean, I had to do it. I wish everybody would watch, okay? Watch Andre Stanley when he's playing the wing position, but he's in a position where he's facing the damn basket and he can pass the ball. It almost seems like he's not looking, but he's looking. He knows where the hell he's passing the ball. When I come back, shot to drink. It's nice to come back. Shot to drink. I watch all of them. I've been watching ever since he started playing. Andre Stanley, 14. Andre's up there. We should talk a little bit about Stanley. He is a walk-on. He did not play at all early in the season. But he didn't tell me he was going to be starting playing. No, I didn't know. He didn't tell me that. Maybe he didn't know. Stanley, the walk-on back in. He just picked up an assist. Let him move the ball, Andre. They're getting out on lane in a hurry. Oh, look at the lead and the tip to the side. Four. And the elevation and the miss. Everything but the finish. Now, Stanley, he got it. Stanley in there. Oh, God. Andre. Hey. Follow through now. Make them both. Missed them both. Trying with a step. Oh, wow. Oh, God. They got it. Now they lost it. We've just gone through as difficult, mentally difficult, emotionally difficult a week as we're going to have this year. We have lost three games that we were in positions to win. It would have been storybook ending if you had made the free throws. But you know what? It wasn't meant to be. And maybe there's a reason for it. Maybe the reason for it is that maybe if you made the layup or maybe if you made the free throws, you would make the same mistake that most people make and think that this is easy. It ain't easy. It's not easy, guys. Al, Al, give me a ring. I want to catch up to you and want you and Coach to get together. Talk to you later. Just trying to catch up to Alpha. He uh, was nowhere to be found at practice, which is extremely rare. Never has there been someone just to not show up at practice. You seen Alpha? Seen him earlier. Uh, oh. 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 Did you see 
Alpha? You seen Alpha over here? Bang girl. All right. <laughs> Bridges, you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Right. There's a way. There's a right way to do everything in the wrong way. Right? Yeah. Come on. What's up? Not when I was playing. I'm trying to see you later. Later, like what? After I got out of class, I was working out. Where were you this morning? I was in the house. I just, I was, um, I'm telling you today, I'm just thinking about doing something else. Okay. Well, I need to know that, and you also need to know that. Whatever you decide to do has consequences. Because the choices you make, you know, could affect the rest of your life. So if you quit, you would forfeit your scholarship. You know, I didn't say that. You know, I quit. You know, I'm, I'm done with the team. I was just saying that, you know, I'm thinking about going a different direction. But right now, I just, I need some time to be able to just decide on what I want to do. All right, now, the way in which you chose to handle it this morning was wrong. Totally unacceptable, not just by me, but by the world that we live in. And even if the university said, well, he's leaving the team, we don't want to give him a scholarship. I'm telling you that if we sit down the way that we're supposed to, and you tell me that you can't play for me, you can't finish the year out 100%, then I will guarantee you that you will have your scholarship for the rest of the year. Because I want you to do it the right way. Period. Yesterday I met up with Alpha, who had missed yesterday morning, and did not, once again, you make choices, did not call to explain to anyone that he would not be at practice, that he would not be participating with the team. Fortunately for him, we were able to see him before the day had passed to let him know how his choices could affect him and what the consequences would be. So what that means for the rest of us who are here is it means that people are going to have to step <laughs> up even more. Okay? Step up even more. Come on, Curtis. There you go, buddy. There you go. Good time. Uh, you should be this one once again long. Yeah, me slightly better. Yeah. Nobody, not even I, could understand how difficult it has been for him to just play the game of basketball. Because he grew so fast and because he is so massive, his muscles have never really caught up. Bring it up. Fred, bend your knees. I had a... Foot surgery, I had surgery on my toes. My feet were like this, all right? So they made them like this. And to keep them from going like this again, they took, they cut the joints and reset the bones so the bones would be straight. But when they did that, that made it so that I couldn't do this, that I could just do this. Okay, step on. Man, it's, it's very difficult. It's very difficult being me. I mean, regardless, people gonna come up to me, bother me, ask me questions. I mean, how, 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 how tall are you, man? Seven three. God! You know, I, I ain't never looked up to nobody in my life. They don't look at you like a person. They look at you like, you know, you're a character in a movie. Like, damn, this is a big dude right here, for real. When I was in high school, I could score 20 points in a game. They'll say, you should get 100 points, dog. You're 7'3". People act like you just, like, like you can do everything, like you're Superman. So if you feel like you're palming the ball too much and, you, and your fingers are this way, and now you're throwing the ball. Now instead of you're, you're going like that, you're throwing darts. Look. Good. Come back. There you go. Do that again. I believe the day will come when he's going to be playing. And I don't know how much, 
It doesn't have to be a lot, but I think the day will come when he plays and contributes. Curtis, you make this fight. You make this. You make this. I will seriously consider playing you. Here we go. Come on. Come on, Kurt. Let's go. Come on. Come on, Kurt. Come on. wanting to be back on the team. You? OK. That's all, because I think if I wanted to be on this team, I probably would have talked to the guys. Okay, man, I don't really have a whole lot to say. I'm just uh, ready to just, you know, play. Just give 100% for the rest of the season. Just go and do what? Just give 100%. Just ready to finish it out. It would be a matter of starting all over again if you were to come back. It's like you can't jump in and out, you know, of relationships. Okay, just like someday if you decide or your wife decides, well, you know what, we're not getting along. I'm leaving. Then there's then there's more time that's necessary to bring the family back together. Now I need time. I need time to do what I need to do with the rest of the family. You surprised me tonight. Because I don't know if any other team that I coached would have done what you did. And that is, you came back. Shocked the hell out of me. I mean, and see, I believe the reason why we ended up winning in overtime was because it would have been so unfair to Donald Emanuel to leave here tonight thinking that he lost the game. I really believe, I'm telling you this, because it would have been unfair the way that you've been playing, the kind of leadership that you've been showing, and the way that you played tonight. We won the basketball game because we cared about each other and we played mm -hmm. unselfish basketball. And I'm proud of this team. I'm proud of what we stand for. This team is really, really becoming more than a basketball team. Alpha? Uh, this is Ursula. Where are you? 
I told the coach you were going to be here after your 1220 class. Where the hell are you? Okay. Thank you. Okay. So you'll be here in 10 minutes? All right. Well, goodbye. Hi, Alpha. Alpha, and I'm not going to beat around the bush. I've decided that in the best interest of the program, that you're not going to play the remainder of this season. You know, you're still going to be paid by St. John's to attend school on scholarship. So you're going to be expected to continue to do all the things that you're supposed to do and you're obligated to do. And we will talk about future in the spring uh, when the season is over. That's three years of my life just wasted because I don't feel like ever since I've really been here, I've had, you know, just, I think the, the opportunity that I felt like I deserved. Mm -hmm. And, you know, and I'm, and I'm not even, I'm not gonna hold anything back. I don't think there's nobody on this team that's more talented than me. When I weighed all my options about the schools I wanted to go to, the thing that made me say I was coming here more than anything else was that I wanted to play for you. And I, too, am sorry that it didn't work out the way that we both wanted it to. <clears throat> okay, y'all. Signing autographs like hours after the games. He was just so more pumped than like dunking and jumping and like a more of a man child than like they used to call him. St. John to score only nine points. It's been a nightmare for them from any Yeah. Do not ask me. Barnes for another three. That's the end of the first half? Yes, 36 to 14. Oh, God. But he knows he's going to hear it from me. He comes home like this because he knows he's going to hear it. I'll make you up a good dinner here after he nice and full. Yeah, yeah, let's talk. Come on. When he was in high school, it was more fun because we didn't have any responsibilities. It's still fun. It's more of a challenge, but he's feeling the pressure. <laughs> Do you think you're going to win this game by magic? It ain't going to happen, guys. We don't do anything by magic. You can't make a free throw anymore, Glove? Hmm? Or well, when the hell are you going to start making free throws? And be a leader on this damn team? You can't, you can't set them up to the middle and go to the baseline once? You can't do that? You can't do it because you don't want to do it. Because you refuse okay to grow. You're stuck on yesterday. You're afraid to do anything new. Get past Cup, get your manual. Lover over Taylor. That's it. 
I keep saying to you, Glove, all right, as long as God gives me breath to coach and gives me the privilege of coaching young men like you, the one thing that I am going to continue to be guilty of is I am going to continue to expect everything that God gave you. I'm going to, I'm going to continue to expect the very best that you can give. The team that came prepared to win and that wanted it the most won the game. The paper had something this morning about the fact that you were going pro. No, that's not it. I know it's not. I know. Look at me. I know it's not. So what you want to do, see, even if it were the case, and I would tell you that even if you were thinking about it, that if you really were, you tell them there's no way. You tell them that I came here to get an education. Plus, you know what? When you go to the pros, you ain't going for a cup of coffee. You're going for a career. I ain't in no rush to do nothing, you know what I'm saying? NBA gonna be there for God knows how long, man. I'm just gonna take my time. Draws a crowd. Hat blocked by Ryan Humphrey. Swanigan left alone. They get it back to Graves. Got three good perimeter shooters here with Thomas. And the defense just got torched again. Swanigan. Here it is. Come on. Get Kyle. Here's a look at Big Curtis, seven foot three, 320 pounds. Curtis Johnson. With Johnson in the game, Glover's now moved to the power forward. Live shot by Johnson as Thomas took it to the glass. The crowd's excited. Here's King on the break. Throws it home. Curtis Johnson. I'm not sure quite how he did it, other than wake up this crowd and jump them up. Here's Hatton. Numbers against him. Now they even up. Hatton takes it. Right in. Score! emails for the last two years. Why are you carrying Curtis Johnson? And I wrote the person back and I says, you just wait. You just wait. And I'm going to tell you something right now, Curtis. It was worth every dime we spent. It was worth every penny. It was worth all the trust and faith that Coach Clark and Rob and everybody else had in you. I've never seen any, anybody, anybody improve as much as you, okay, in the last two years, all right? But I'm going to tell you something, guys. You are, you're incredible. You're friggin' incredible. Because there ain't too many teams, there ain't too many people that would get up off, the, off their ass. Okay, and I'm proud of this team, but I'm proud of the spirit that's in the room. Okay, not just because we won, because, man, I'm gonna tell you right now, nobody thought you could win except for you. That's why we play this game, and that's why this is so great. One of our players has been selected as a first team all big east team uh, team member which he should be congratulations on your selection you couldn't have done it without us we know that true that true that and i love y'all and i thank y'all <laughs> <laughs> and i'm thinking about taking y'all to eat one day one day that's is that a promise monday monday my oh, monday <laughs> Stone to pull up. Raise the twine. That's an air ball. 
Billy Shaw lost the handle, and Stoughton picks up a loose change. He's got it. it so hard. Oh. Tip hat and sent it out to center court, and Stoughton let it play. Over to Buchanan, we know what a great three-point shooter Gary Buchanan is, and he shows us why. Stop worrying about all the other that you think about and worry about. Just play. Play as hard as you friggin' can. I want you to play basketball. Just play basketball. Nice job by Stone to keep his wits about him. Oh. That's the gas right from Buchanan! So once again, God is good because God knows that this team cannot deal with any kind of prosperity. This team must continue to deal with until they grow up adversity. This team must continue to deal with an uphill battle because this team ain't otherwise. God knows. If you guys would listen to the words that Father Ma speaks about, and there's one thing that Father Ma always, I hear him saying often, over and over again, he's asking you, he's asking me, he's asking us not to give in to fear. Not to be afraid to be good. Not to be afraid to be smart. Not to be afraid to be a leader. Not to be afraid to stand up and be different from the rest of the world that we live in, which is mediocre at best. That's what he's telling us, and we're not listening to him. So we're going back to work tomorrow morning at 7.30. And we're playing Wednesday night against Notre Dame, who is equally, if not more physical than this team. And if you don't come to box out Wednesday night, we're going to get our asses whipped in Madison Square Garden. And you know what we could say to the NCAA? Goodbye. All right, guys, bring it in. This is the time of, of year when college basketball is in the spotlight. We've given our school a lot of publicity so far by just having our name mentioned a thousand times a day as being a team on the bubble. We've got to concentrate on basketball. We got to go back to that group of guys that went to Alaska that, I mean, really weren't as concerned about themselves as they were about the team back then. Everybody was eager. Everybody, you know, was like a new life. That's we got to go back. Like we got to be reborn again. Drop. Drop. Hey, uh, Eric, you're playing like you played the other day, like you want.